Russian Orthodox Church calls invasion of Ukraine holy war. The World Russian People's Council, led by Patriarch Kirill of Moscow, has adopted an order that refers to the Russian invasion of Ukraine as a holy war and states that the entire territory of present-day Ukraine should be included in the area of Russia's exclusive influence. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church, which has historically been linked to the Moscow Patriarchate, has dissociated itself from such statements. Radio Liberty journalists reported that the Patriarchate's document is not formally related to the Russian Orthodox Church, but many Russian church hierarchs and public figures associated with the church are participating in the council. The document was approved during a councillor congress held on March the 27th in Moscow and chaired by Patriarch Kirill. In it, the war in Ukraine is described as a new stage in the national liberation struggle of the Russian people against the criminal Kyiv regime and the collective West behind it, which is being waged in the lands of southwestern Russia. And from a spiritual and moral point of view, it is a holy war in which Russia and its people, defending the single spiritual space of holy Russia, fulfill the mission of the restrainer who protects the world against the onslaught of globalism and the victory of the West, which has fallen into Satanism. The document also explains the concept of the Russian describing its boundaries as wider than the state borders of both the current Russian Federation and the great historical Russia. The document also refers to the tri-unity of the Russian people and claims that Belarusians and Ukrainians should be recognized only as sub-ethnic groups of the Russians. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church reacted to the Russian statement by distancing itself from the ideology of the Russian world. The Ukrainian Orthodox Church does not support and dissociates itself from the ideology of the Russian world. Moreover, our church's attitude to this idea has long been publicly expressed by his beatitude Metropolitan Onufri of Kyiv and all Ukraine. We are not building any Russian world, we are building God's world, Ukrainian Orthodox Church said. This time, Russia recruited mercenaries from Sri Lanka and Hungary for war against Ukraine. The Russian Federation has recruited citizens from Sri Lanka for the war against Ukraine. Some of them have already been killed, reports Al Jazeera. The news agency spoke with two mercenaries who fought on the side of the Russian Federation. They recounted how they came under attack by a Ukrainian drone in the temporarily occupied Donetsk region. We didn't know that it would be this dangerous, said Senaka Bandara. Russia promised citizens of Sri Lanka that they would be involved in bunker duty. However, the Ukrainian military managed to hit the bunker where the mercenaries were stationed. The material writes that hundreds of citizens of Sri Lanka are fighting on the side of Russia against Ukraine. Most of them joined the war for a salary of $3,000 and the prospect of obtaining Russian citizenship. It has also been established that some of the mercenaries have already been killed. According to Daily News Hungary, an allegedly Hungarian pro-Russian group has been recruiting Hungarian mercenaries through Russian social media with promises of high salaries, citizenship and social support in exchange for fighting against Ukraine. The so-called Legion of Saint Stephen began recruiting mercenaries for the Russian military in September 2023 as reported by Blick. While their invitation is open to all nationalities, Hungarians enjoy priority in admission. The group offers a high salary, though not specifying details on the exact amount and citizenship for Hungarians upon joining the Russian military ranks. Recently, the National Resistance Center reported that locals in the temporarily occupied territory observed the arrival of more Kremlin mercenaries. In particular, invaders are bringing in fighters from Cuba and Nepal. Reuters also reported that India has asked Russia for the early release of some of its citizens working in the Russian army in support jobs. A representative of the coordinated headquarters for the treatment of prisoners of war, Petro Yatsenko, said that the Russian mobilization resource is running out, so the aggressor country is increasingly recruiting foreigners for the war against Ukraine. Ukrainian captivity includes representatives from Cuba, Nepal, African countries and Latin America.